And now, there is a little matter to which I think I may be entitled to take some exception. I come here in state with Her Grace the Duchess and Her Majesty, my daughter. And what do I find? Do I find, for example, a guard of honor to receive us? No. 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 The town illuminated? No. 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 Refreshments provided? No. No. A royal salute fired? No. 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 Triumphal arch is erected? No. 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 The bell set ringing? No. Yes. One of the visitors, and I rang it myself. <laughs> it is not enough. It is not enough. Upon my honor, I'm very sorry. But you see, I was brought up on a gondola. And my ideas of politeness are confined to taking off my cap to passengers when they tip me. That is all very well in its way, but it is not enough. I'll take off anything else within reason. <laughs> but a royal salute for my daughter, it costs so little. Papa, I don't want a salute. My good sir, as soon as we know which of us is entitled to take that liberty, she can have as many salutes as she likes. As for gods of honor and triumphal arches, they don't know our people. They wouldn't stand it. They're very offhand with us. Very offhand indeed. Oh, but you mustn't allow that. You must exercise a proper discipline. You must impress the court with your importance. You want deportment. A carriage. Oh, we've got a carriage. <laughs> Manner. A dignity. There must be a good deal of this sort of thing. Ah, oh, your majesty. Honored. Ah, oh, your majesty. Honored. <laughs> and a little of this sort of thing. <laughs> and just a sous-son. A what what song? A sous-son. A French word. <laughs> of this sort of thing. Enchanté, ma chérie. Enchanté, ma chérie. <laughs> oh, it's very useful and most effective. <clears throat> Just attend to me. You are a king. I am a subject. Very well. About to kiss your hand, try to combine a pose imperious with a demeanor nobly bland. Let us combine a pose imperious with a demeanor nobly bland. That's if anything too unbending, too aggressively stiff and grand. Now to the other extreme, your Capital boat, capital boat, we call it. 